Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between Maven and SNG? Let me answer. I would like to answer this question in test automation perspective. Okay. I don't want to go into the technical details of development and all, development projects and all. Rather, in test automation perspective, what is the difference between Maven and TestNG? I am going to cover in this session from my experience. Okay. Coming to Maven, it's generally known as build automation and dependency management tool. But coming to automation, we can focus more on dependency management. Though it's a build automation and dependency management tool, but coming to automation, mainly it is a dependency management tool. Okay. So if you use a normal Java project and if you use a Maven Java project, what is the difference in normal Java project? You have to manually go to the websites and download the jar files of the different libraries and copy them and paste them into the project and configure them in the project. And then the libraries will be added to your project. That's a very hectic step. Tomorrow, if this version change, again, you have to unconfigure these libraries, delete these libraries from your project, again, download the latest versions of these libraries, and again, copy them, configure them in the projects. It's a very hectic and high maintenance process, right? Without Maven projects. But coming with automation, we generally use Maven projects instead of normal Java projects. We'll use Maven projects. So in Maven, when you create a Maven project, it, by default, it will come with something known as form.xml file. In that, there will be a section known as dependencies section, where you will simply add the dependency tags of whatever the libraries you want to add. Automatically, when you save the project, automatically, these dependency tags related libraries will be downloaded and configured in your project. You don't have to do much. Tomorrow, if the version changes, if you want to change the version, simply go to that form.xml file, change the version number and save the project. That's it. Automatically, it will remove the old library. Take, download the latest library and configure in your project. So sophisticated it is. So that's why Maven is a dependency management tool. Okay. So you can see here in one of the project, if I go to this, this is a Maven project, I go to the form.xml file. Okay. Here we have dependencies. And uh, here you see there is a test ng dependency, Selenium dependency, different library dependencies are there. Tomorrow, if this version earlier, let's say 4.9.0 was there. Okay. Save this. It will remove the 4.9.1 and download 4.9.0 and automatically configure in this project. You see, building is going on. Everything will happen automatically. Simply, you need to add this dependency tag. You don't have to manually download the software, uh, jar files, and you know put in the project, configure them. That's a very hectic process. Again, when you need latest versions, just change them. 4.9.0 is removed. 4.9.1 came, automatically downloaded and configured. Done. That's all. Okay, you can directly use this library now whether it is Selenium or TestNG or PyAPA or Extend Report or whatever it is, this is a simple process, okay? This is how the Maven is called as a dependency management tool. Apart from that, Maven is also called as a build lifecycle management. Mainly build lifecycle management is mainly used in, you know, development, software development, where, you know, they'll compile the code the developers have written, they'll pack it, they'll install it, they'll deploy it and all those stuff, okay? That will, that will, that process, build management process is made easier with the help of Maven. Okay. Instead of they manually compiling and all with Maven commands and all, they can do it very easily. Okay. So, but coming to automation, if I have to say the difference between Maven and test engine, I'll say Maven is a dependency management tool, which will make our life easy for adding the libraries and configuring the libraries by simply getting the dependency tags from a website known as MDN repository. Uh, and from there, you just copy paste the dependency tags and just change the versions here. Everything will be done automatically, downloaded and configured. And coming to TestNG, TestNG is a testing framework. While Maven is a build automation and dependency management tool, whereas TestNG is a testing framework. Okay. So, uh, testing framework means uh, why we are calling it as a testing framework. It can do unit testing, integration testing, and end to end testing, everything. Okay. So, that's why it's called as a uh, testing framework rather than unit testing framework. Though developers will use TestNG for unit testing, but uh, automation engineers can use it for the this kind of testing purpose. Okay, so end-to-end -end, uh, automation purpose, they can automate the UI tests. Okay, functional UI tests and all those stuff, and uh, all uh, all the other things. Okay, so API automation, 
Okay, everything can be done. That's why we can simply call it as testing framework instead of calling it as uh, only unit testing framework. The better term is testing framework. Okay, so it's a next generation testing framework. And uh, coming to the automation, if I have to differentiate Maven and TestNG, well, Maven we use in test automation projects for dependency management purpose. We use TestNG for several things like uh, to control the execution flow of the test execution flow using the different annotations like at the rate test, at the rate before method, at the rate after method, at the rate before class, at the rate after class. Based on this annotation, the code will run. Okay, the, uh, the flow of the execution of the code will change. Controls the uh, test execution flow is one thing. Test configuration, we can do the lot of configurations. We can pass the parameters, we can create groups and run the test according to the groups. We can create different configurations for uh, different uh, execution purpose like smoke test running, regression test running. Therefore, by creating some test in XML files, this is possible. Then data driven testing. Okay. So there are some inbuilt annotations in TestNG where you can run the same test with multiple sets of data. Parallel execution, you can run the same test at the same time. You can test multiple tests at the same time, parallelly at the same time to save the time and all. Uh, okay. With the help of TestNG, that is possible. Reporting, you can generate the test results reports. All the things are possible with TestNG and test automation. So this is what is the difference between Maven and TestNG as part of test automation perspective. You get this question in the interview. Better to explain this in test automation perspective. Okay. So Maven is a build automation and dependency management tool, whereas TestNG is a testing framework. So even developers also can use TestNG for unit testing purpose, whereas uh, testers can use it for UI automation and uh, API automation purpose and all. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.